today was supposed to be, I was going to say, I was going to start with today was supposed to be Grand Turk. Uh -huh. However, due to weather and uh, strong winds, you're not going to Grand Turk. No. Nope. I watched this morning off the balcony, a circling with the vista out there, and then the captain finally came on and said, ah, no, nope, we're not even going to try. It's bad out there. So it is a sea day. Sea day. I'm so tired, I should just I'm, go sleep all day. I, I, try, I asked her, she asked what was going on, I told her, gave her the rundown, I was like, if you want a nap, I'll go work, you can, can sleep in, but nope, she drug herself up. <laughs> Maybe I'll nap later, we'll see. Yeah. We gotta go get some breakfast. Yeah. We got some coffees. Yeah. I'm, this has been the one thing uh, that I think has been my favorite thing about the Pluff so far, was the specialty, <laughs> the coffees. specialty coffee. Yeah. I love this Cafe Mocha. It's good. Okay, so I think we're just going to do the dining room today. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> All right. We'll see you there. Okay. Hey. Checking in after breakfast. Yeah, we went to the dining room for breakfast today. Yeah, that's where we ended up. Again, not much choice on that menu. It was a very small menu, but I got to yeah. say it was the food was better than the other day. Yeah. When I was in there, I got the eggs Benedict. It was okay. Yeah, I got eggs and bacon, and it was good. Um, service was a little bit slow. Yeah, we felt like they were kicking us out there, but <laughs> I think it was what 9:30, and yeah, the yeah just felt like uh, they were. Uh, you ready? Get out of here. <laughs> we need to clean up for lunch. I don't know, but people are still coming in, yeah. so I don't know. So... I'm not really sure what we're going to do today since it's a impromptu sea day. They don't really have much on the schedule. You know, just a couple of trivias and stuff like that. There's a shark presentation at 4, but again, that's 4 o'clock. So much could change between now and then. Yep. So we're going to go walk around, see what we can get into. So ordered this soda just about two minutes ago off the app, and it's already here. Pretty awesome. That was quick. Now I ordered a uh, sandwich also. We'll see how long that one takes to get here. But so far, man, that was pretty awesome. My food has arrived. Now I ordered this at 12.54, and it's now 2.03. This is for a turkey sandwich. It does look very good, and they were very apologetic. But, I mean, it's a sea day and all that, and I knew it was going to take a while. But just so you know, yeah, sea days, if you order from the ocean now, it's going to be a long time. So, I'm going to go ahead and dig in, and I'll let you know. Okay, I just got up from trying to take a nap. Um, this was our impromptu sea day. We were supposed to go to Grand Turk today, but bad weather said otherwise. So I was taking a nap. Scott is out on the ship somewhere. I think he took his laptop to do some work. Um, so we can use the app, the Princess app, and locate where he is on the ship. And it'll even give you a little map to like take you directly to him. And it's in your little medallions. Let me show you. Um, Here's my medallion. I have it in a little clip. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'll show you on my phone how we can find him. Okay, so first I'm going to open up my app, my princess app, and down on the bottom, you'll see all these little features. We're gonna hit the chat button 
and you can see he pops up here. And if you click on him, it'll take you to messages. You guys can type back to each other. If you click this little eye up in the right corner, you'll find him and then you can either message or you can locate him. So if we push locate, it tells me he is on deck seven and it shows you on the map over here. Here's his little picture. And if you're not sure how to get there, you can click root. And it tells me it'll take me about a minute to get there. Proceed aft and port to the aft elevator. And you can actually leave this up as you're walking to him and you'll see it move around. So we're gonna go find him. I found him. It took me a while. I'm not good at maps. <laughs> but I found him. <laughs> Let me see if the buffet's still open for a snack. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know when this buffet closes, if it closes or what. But I don't know. Let's go find out. We'll I'm find hungry. something. One side was still open. So we got just some light food because just a couple hours is dinner. So. <laughs> wow. I got too much salad. And I'm still not even sure what salad mm. dressing this is. It was white, but they aren't marked. So I thought, I don't even know. Scott's trying to be healthy and eat salad. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know it's trying to be healthy. I think it's just need vegetables. <laughs> of course, I got some chips and guac. I could eat chips and guac like every day. And then some little pasta salad. It's okay. Well, remember, just a little bit ago, I had done that order now. That I ordered just to see. I'd ordered a turkey sandwich. And uh -huh. that took, what, well over an hour to get there. Was, yeah, so they said, you know, he's very apologetic when he dropped it off and it's a sea day and they're super busy, which I get and everything, but I was just doing it to let you guys know how long it takes and what to expect. So just expect it to take a while on a sea day. <laughs> that was just a turkey sandwich. It was nothing special. <laughs> All right. So we're going to finish our little snacks and then in a little while, we've got to get dressed. It is fancy night. Elegant night, we're gonna get dressed up. Yay. Yay. Oh, I'm watching that camera vibrate. I know, the <laughs> ship's vibrating. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let's finish our food. <laughs> Good evening. Hey. We are getting ready to go to dinner. Uh -huh. We're all dressed in our elegant wear. Uh, Stop being a baby. I don't like it. I'll let you change right after dinner. Okay. Okay. Getting ready to go to the Palm Dining Room for some surf and turf. Yeah, I guess I can deal looking like a dork for some lobster and I think and it's the lobster, yeah, lobster and filet. Yeah. Yes, and of course, I think we need to get a drink with our dinner. Yeah, I don't know, man. See, we, we are not drink package people because I feel like we've had so much sugar, and I love sugar. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've had so much sugar on this cruise. Like just, <laughs> and we haven't even gotten that many drinks. All the drinks are just so sweet. Yeah, well, I guess you gotta venture out to some of those grown-up drinks then, nope. without the sugar. Nope. Nope, tried it, didn't like <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, tried, tried it, didn't like it. All right, so we're getting ready to go head out to dinner. We'll see you guys later. Hey. <laughs> such a dork. He <laughs> pressed play as I was pulling my glasses oh off my, my head. Gosh. Oof. Uh, we finished dinner in the dining room. It's pretty good. It was pretty good. Surf and turf. The lobster was good. Yes, it was very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The steak was pretty tender. Yep. Mm -hmm. It was a pretty good presentation, too. It looked really nice. It did. Um, last couple of cruises we've been on, the steak and lobster. <laughs> or, well, actually, um, a lot of them, you only get lobster anymore. You get one or the other. Right, 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 right. So this is both. Yeah. So, yeah. It was, it was good. It came with some kind of baked potato thing mm -hmm. on top of a bed of spinach. Spinach was good. Yeah, it was all really good. Um, 
For my appetizer, I just got a Caesar salad. I got the escargot and the, it was like a shrimp and crab soup. It was really good. Hmm. Um, for dessert, I had strawberry cheesecake. It was pretty good. I had the Chantilly Swan. Chantilly Swan? <laughs> Comes out and it looks like a little swan. <laughs> I'm not even sure what was all in this thing, to be honest. It was like cream and on a little thing of raspberry kind sauce. of sauce. Yeah. So, and it had like, I, it, there were kind of like cookie, but not cookies. I don't know. It was, hard to, it was good. Yeah, but it looked like a swan. But it looked like a swan. That was cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... Now we have we have a bit of time before our next activity. Yeah. Um, eight thirty is the next show that we're going to. Yeah, what time is it? Oh, it's just now seven o'clock. Oh, good lord. Oof, we got an hour and a half. I know. I don't know what we're gonna do. I told him he could come back to the room and change. He doesn't want to wear his dress clothes all night. I don't. A, it's too hot. He's look, a big baby. Look, it's already getting hot. I'm sweaty. Well, I think part of the reason it's because I got that undershirt on. It's like. A, Tucks it all in, so it makes it so hot. You just gave away your secret. <laughs> well, like, like anybody doesn't know. Who's gonna know? Well, everybody knows. Now they know. Well, yeah. Well, he's got a Spanx t undershirt on, y'all. And guess what? He can't get it off unless I help him. <laughs> you gotta roll it up. It's like put your arms up, and I gotta stand on the bed so I can get leverage. And get it off of him. <laughs> it's hysterical. We should maybe film that. I know. Oh, get a little warm in here. Hey, you you said it. I wasn't even going to say it. Uh, somehow, when I was away, she'd say it. No, I would not <laughs> spill your secrets. All right, let's change. We're going to change. Probably go uh, find some music to listen to. Go to Love and Marriage Show. And then at 9.30 in the theater is another kind of Broadway show. Not yep. really sure what it is. No. But are we going to be underdressed now? Because everybody else out there is all dressed up. I'm willing to stay in my dress. No, not me. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to check in with you guys later. We're going to go change. Welcome to the Marriage Match Game Show, one of my favorite game shows. I'm 40 excited. Double D? Yes! Okay. 40 Double D, we're going to write that down. You down there, champagne, you're going to need it. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for your newlyweds! Thank you! All right, here we go, Jack. Yes, what size did you bring back then, my friend? I know, I know. You may want to grab the microphone there. Anyway, anyway. Yes, you... Oh. <laughs> She swapped that out very quickly, let me tell you. All right, so what size did you bring back? Now, it's not necessarily the, 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 uh, the actual size, but the size that you brought back. A D? How much? D? A D. D. Just a D. Okay. <laughs> Nervous for what that stands for, but I'm asking for the bra size. Yeah, you should. So you just brought back a D. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to add anything to that? D plus. D plus. To be honest, I don't know bra sizes. No, it comes with a number. There you are, my love. There we go. We're going to look now. Yes. What's the sign? What do you think Chuck said? I think 
there's a small window of opportunity between a lot of this and passed out. <laughs> of being alive, yes, okay. All right, no, that's wonderful. Okay, so just in that little window, you've got to check, you, yeah, yeah, you see Chuck, you've got to, you've got to aim right there. Now, Andrew. <laughs> oh, that was the answer, okay. He said it's uh, when you're wearing your flowing silk pajamas. Negligee. Negligee. Yeah. I didn't know that's what it was doing. <laughs> of course, uh, what song best describes your love life? What song out there best describes your love life? You know, um, and there's so many songs out there. I thought I'd make it a bit easier for you. And I gave you a selection. So you can choose out of these options. Is it song number one? Is it song number two? <laughs> or is it song number three? Song number four. Oh, Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. Here we go. Which one would you like to go with those four songs there? Now, Roxy was quite eager with one of those options there. So what do you think? Uh -huh. I like to go with number two. You would like to go with all night long. And it was true at one time. <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta be realistic. Which one do you choose? Number one. I'll make up to you with a man! Yes! You did it! Get up that way, I did all the rest! So, we went to the marriage match show. That was in the Explorer's Lounge. Mm -hmm which when we got there, there was still some trivia going on. And so nobody got up to leave. Nope. We barely found a seat. We uh -uh. squeezed in with some people in the front. <laughs> we made them scoot over. <laughs> we were there a half hour early and still, yeah, it was, yeah, nobody left from the previous thing, so. So yeah, yeah. there was a lot of people that didn't get a seat, but it was super funny. <laughs> yep. It was hilarious. Again, it all depends on the people that participate. Mm -hmm but I think they should have it in the theater because everybody wants to see it. I know, yeah. And there's just not enough room in that lounge. Mm -hmm. Not enough at all. So we're supposed to go from there to the theater to see the, the musical act or whatever is in the theater. Yeah, I don't know. We popped our head in there. We, it had already started. Yeah, the marriage match show ran over. So the theater show had already started, but we ran down there to see if maybe we could get a seat, but there were just people standing in the back yeah. who couldn't even really get through. And just from that little snippet I heard, I'm not sure it was something I was going <laughs> to like you hear again. Right? I don't know. <laughs> so I wasn't that disappointed. Let's say that. Okay. So we decided to go check out the nightclub. What is it? Skywalkers? Skywalker, yeah. We went and checked out Skywalkers. Took us a couple minutes to figure out. Figure out front, how to get there. <laughs> front from back of the ship. You'd think we'd have that down by now. We keep getting confused where stuff is. But not a whole lot going on there. They have a DJ. It's all request. Not a lot of people in there. No. But um, a little bit later, they're going to turn it into ABBA music. Again, I... Not a big ABBA fan? No. no. I mean, the couple of ABBA songs that I know are fine, but yeah, I can't see having <laughs> a whole ABBA hour. I don't know. So we're tired anyway, so we decided we'd just come back to the room. 
go to bed. Tomorrow's another sea day. Yep. Don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe it'll be nice and we can actually like just lay out on deck and relax. And Well, today, like I said, it was a cloudy, but there was no wind, so. Yeah, it was a little windy, but not terrible. Once yeah. we got away from Grand Turk, yeah. it calmed down a lot. But the sun really never came out. Came out. Yeah. It was cloudy. It, it wasn't hot out there. Let's say that at least. It wasn't real hot. So maybe tomorrow's weather will be better and we can sit out and get some more sun. Yay, more sun. Yeah. Maybe you get in the pool. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> anyway, we got one more day on the Caribbean Princess. So I guess that's it for today. Yep, that's All it. All right, we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night.